Okay, so um, what we've tried to do today really is sort of look at the elements of cathodic protection, how that fits into the whole repair process. So the whole of today's event is about how we approach a structure, how we look at repair, strengthening, coatings, a whole shabam really. And from, from our point of view, we're looking at cathodic protection, which is all about stopping corrosion of concrete. And there are various different methods, methods that we use to do that. Some of it is through impressed current cathodic protection, which is using mains power. Some of it's through galvanics. But again, what you find is not one system is suitable for all situations. So every structure is different. It has different requirements. The client has different budgetary constraints. So we're really looking about how we make this technology accessible into the marketplace and how we engineer those solutions to do that. So cathodic protection is a great way of protecting your assets, extending the life of your assets, um, but not removing vast amounts of quality of concrete which is a very highly environmentally bad material so it's all about preserving preventing maintaining what you have over a long period of time with cathodic protection it's all about the long term we're not looking about short-term gains it's about the long-term cost requirements and how long we can we can extend the life of the structure for really so today was all about introducing people to the elements of it really so it's more cathodic protection in terms of science and we can read about it but it's really looking at all the elements and how we bring a cathodic protection system together so the anode rectifiers everything to bring it together so people can hold them touch them feel them as opposed to just read about them in a in a book really the two different booths that we have are different. They're the same technology, but how we achieve them is very differently. So one is a uh, system that is powered by mains power. So you have to maintain it, you have to control it, you have to look after it for the whole life of its system, but you can get very long life expectancy. So we look at a 100 years plus of active service life for that. The other element is galvanics, and galvanics have their place. They're more simple, they're easier to install. Uh, but they have a finite life, they're not going to last forever. So again, there's a right time to use one, there's a right time to use another system. And again, understanding the difference between the two and how we can use them and when to use them is really the nuance of how we, what we're trying to put across today and introduce people to those elements.